Welcome to this video tutorial for Logic Pro 10, where we'll be looking at how to open a Logic project and get set up with recording music using a MIDI keyboard. So I'm not going to cover absolutely every single little detail of the program in this video. I'll just be taking you through the quickest and the most basic steps to get recording with your MIDI keyboard in a kind of streamlined way. So first you want to make sure your MIDI keyboard is plugged in, usually via a USB port on the side or back of your computer. And then we're going to click on Logic and get it open. Now my version might look slightly different to the one that you might have in front of you, and that's because mine might be a slightly older version. So then on this window you want to click Empty Project, because we're just going to start from scratch. Now this window that's come up here might look slightly different to your screen and that's because you may not have advanced settings turned on but I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, so here you want to click software instrument outputs one and two and create. So that'll come up with this screen here it might look a little daunting at first if you haven't really opened up logic like this before but I'll talk through what you need to do to get set up with recording your MIDI keyboard. So before we go any further, now you don't necessarily have to do this part, but I recommend you turn on advanced settings, which can be found here, preferences, advanced tools, and just make sure they're all switched on. Just make sure they're all ticked and then you can close that. Now we're just going to see if we're getting signal from our MIDI keyboard coming through, which we should be doing. And there we are, it's coming through. Okay, now over on this left side, we've got a choice of built-in instrument sounds that are in Logic. Now you might have noticed I've got some arrows on the side here, which you might not have. That's just because I haven't downloaded every single sound in that particular package. Um, so now I'm just going to go and pick a sort of default piano sound here. And once you're happy with your sound, you can get rid of this thing on the side. That's the library. So if I click that. Now, as you saw before, Logic is picking up the signal from my MIDI keyboard, but it's not actually recording anything just yet. It's only just ready to record. Now to start recording, you press the red recording button on the top playhead. So if I just go ahead and, and click this. Now there was a one, two, three, four count in there and then the recording started. Now you might want it, but I don't want that counting right now. So I'm going to go over here and just turn this off for now. So now when I click record, it just goes straight in there and it will record anything that I play. So I'm just going to take this back here and just record a little something. And then to stop the recording, you can either press the stop button on the top playhead or you can just press the spacebar. Uh, so to listen back to the recording, you can use the playhead on the top, or you can press enter and then spacebar to play. And there's your recording. And if you want to delete your recording and do it again, you can either click on where you've recorded and then press delete on the keyboard or a quicker way of doing it is just to do command Z on your keyboard. Okay. So that's simply how to record sounds using your MIDI keyboard. And in following videos, I'll show you how to do things like record along to a metronome or a click, layer different MIDI sounds on top of one another and edit your MIDI sounds that you've already played in. I'll also show you how you can turn this Logic recording project into a playable music file, like, like an MP3 or a WAV file, so you can play it on iTunes, upload it, put it on a CD or on your phone, etc.
But for now, I've just simply shown you how to record something using your MIDI keyboard. Again, I'll get further into other topics in future videos, but for now, I'm just trying to keep these really short and sweet and to the point.